For this, for this, for this movie's character. Festival to festival to try and find an audience. It was actually first screened in December, if you can believe it. Maybe that's why the director got the idea for his next book. It finally accumulated one when it came to DVD. With a sequel in development and even Halloween costumes being made, Trick or Treat has become a staple of the season for many. The funny thing is, like I mentioned, director Michael Dougherty, 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 I don't know, I just yeah. in there, also made the movie <laughs> no. Trick. Another seasonal horror film with a dark take on its holiday. And like Krampus, it's a unique experience in that I notice people watch the movie and usually find it alright at best, but something stays with them afterwards. The memory of the movie might actually be stronger than the movie itself. That is to say, its visuals, ideas, and overall atmosphere might be what makes it so unique. You know those films you watch that you really like but then you struggle to remember years later? This guy's films seem to be the opposite. People usually find them okay at first, but okay. something about them stays with people years later. I'm actually finding these movies more and more interesting. Like, I recall Lady yeah. Werewolves, a goblin trick-or-treater, bullies begging for their comeuppance, but I don't really remember any characters' names or even how half the stories end. So why do some passable films like this stay with me, and some films I know are smarter and I enjoy more sometimes fade away? Well, we're gonna dive in and find out. So put on your Sam costume, or half a Sam costume, <laughs> or dress yeah. up your dog. This needs to stop. We need to stop. Yeah. Yeah. This is Trick or Treat. Okay. We open with a film strip about the proper way for kids to act around Halloween. There are a few guidelines all ghosts and goblins should follow. Always stay on sidewalks. Is, it Don't is that Tom Kane? The Superman costume. What's the matter with you? Is that Tom Kane? We cut to the present. 16 years ago. As a couple named Emma and Henry return home from a party that's and dare to that, pull that's out their jackpot. That's like Professor Why? Ancient tradition? It's Halloween, not Halloween. But spirited away knockoffs will get you. <laughs> what? Oh, I love it. Gravity Falls is so great. just take all this crap down. It looks like a crime scene. Well, maybe if you didn't decorate your lawn like any five minutes of Black Klansmen. Go inside, put on the tape. Just as they're literally about to do it like they do on the Discovery Channel, somebody <laughs> watches from afar. Ooh. Took you guys so long. how long I could go before the cops were called on me. You know, typical college boy stuff. Yeah, what was up with that? I really like they ended this like the killer's gonna be behind the sheets, but it turns out he's in the box. <laughs> then out ten times the killer shows up right after the fake out, so I'm glad he shows up after two fake outs. <laughs> Not like this! Not in a leprechaun movie! <laughs> story yeah. is don't get killed i like that the film taking from everything halloween also includes halloween movies like this intro has a very creep show vibe with the comics being mixed with very psycho sounding music right after a clear homage to the first halloween movie not to mention an homage to the scariest trope of all a sometime earlier credit <laughs> i guess it could be worse you could cut back to emma with a voiceover saying you're probably wondering how i got here Warren Valley, Ohio, where the holiday okay. and all of its strange traditions are taken very seriously. In Ohio? I somehow doubt that. Now there's a Cedar Point slash Sauerkraut Balls Festival. That I could believe. 
We're introduced to a group of college girls dressing up like fairy tale characters and talking as horny as possible. Let's keep popping out. the idea. Perfectly good guys in the city. I don't know. And Rhea said uh, he was a girl. Kid, you should be doing this. Keep it down, the writer of the scene is listening. But one of them named Lori, played by Anna Paquin, is embarrassed by her costume. Wait, Anna Paquin? Open the door or we'll hop. And we'll pop. Yeah. Come on, seriously, open up. I didn't even get to the blow part. That'd be ten references for my horny girl Wait. cliches punch card. And Paquin from the X Men movies. I was trying to say. to meet them at the party. Love and bad Santa kid acts like a little shit, like he does in most of his movies. That can't be good for your diabetes, Charlie. Sit down, Charlie. <laughs> Sit down, Charlie. Your life <laughs> <Willy> Wonka. <laughs> Tonight is about respecting the dead. This, this is the one night that the dead roam free. <laughs> Right, my role as the lizard might come back from the dead tonight, so let's pretend Spider Man 3 never happened. Well, I already pretend that. Good boy. All these traditions, they were started to protect us, but nowadays, no one really cares. Let me go more into yeah, the yeah. history of Halloween. Oh, yeah. right, like I said, the audience wouldn't care. On to the gory stuff. Always drink your candy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'll just say it. Yeah. Between doing this and half a performance in a wedgie, this kid must have had a hard time in school. Imagine every year at Halloween and Christmas somebody brings these movies up. Look, kid, I know you're like 30, but I'm giving you an Amazon gift card for free therapy. We will stop those fortune themester jokes. <laughs> now that you made jokes about you just then, you look like her. Though maybe she did, I don't know. <laughs> you ever seen my movie Happiness? We know you're in there! We can see you! Some other kids come trick-or-treating, and I love this look on both the kid and Dylan Baker's face when he puts together <laughs> where the blood might have come from. Happy Halloween. It'll be a happier Halloween if you slip me a 20. Around, slow-moving boy, aren't Happy Halloween. Uh, uh, I love it when you kill a kid around other kids while you also have kids. In a way, I guess that makes me sympathize with why he kills kids, but how do you think he was going to get away with this? Go watch Charlie Brown. And I'll be in in a minute. Charlie Brown's an asshole. <laughs> I kind of love the movie that treats Charlie Brown the same way the comic strip world would. <laughs> wow, poor Charlie Dad. Brown. What a good parade. Daddy, I wish Mommy was still alive. I told him she might be. I just haven't dug her up to check for sure yet. Let's carve a scary face this time. He takes his son downstairs to carve a pumpkin and... Oh, yeah, this is YouTube. Yep, Um. of course. The head of the kid you saw earlier is fine. Wasn't taken downstairs or carved into at all, and no swear words, especially the M yeah, word, were yeah. said a couple times in a row back to back. Yeah, yeah, no. no. Oh, by the way, you can totally watch this movie on YouTube. Nothing makes sense. No. The trick or treaters from before. Yeah. The next house trying to find a jack o' lantern for their scavenger hunt. Great costume. I'm gay now. Straight now. Oh, oh. that freaks me out. I'm, I'm, Ooh, I'm freaked out now. The horror film she's been in now. I'm freaked out now. They find a house covered in jack o' lanterns who were made by a kid named Ron. Did you carve all these yourself? Made my costume too. I'm Shredder. Rhonda. Duh! A cute scene! Kill it with fire! Wow, they actually kill that scene with fire. Well played. <laughs> we see a couple making out in an alleyway, but one of them bites off more than he should chew. Uh, oh, it's a man. Dude, I've it's been it's Tim and Salvatore. Have fun leaving her here like a totally normal person would. Hey, there is some Halloween education. It's season one, Demon Salvatore. Christianity, the Celtic holiday, was celebrated on the one night between autumn and winter. Again, remember your audience. <laughs> yeah. Shit, I must be getting old. I legit want to hear more about Halloween. The trick or treaters make their way to a giant cliff where a bus was said to drive off carrying a bunch of kids. It was this bus full of crazy. Jesus, will you shut up and let me tell the damn story? Wanna see another impression of YouTube? You said a bad word. Copyright <laughs> claim. I mean, age restricted. I mean, something that can easily be abused. Um, she tells the story of this, this is, uh, the bus hearing YouTube and him making a joke about YouTube. Man, between this and the ring, I guess the best way to handle any kid with differences is gravity. <laughs> One kid gets loose, though, and stops their evil plan of dragging them off a cliff by. Driving them off a cliff. What? Ah! Sheesh, boy, it really makes sense having that busload of kids drown. <laughs> yeah. Maybe 
Um, on the his deal. The kids decide to leave the jack o' lanterns, each representing one of the eight victims. Is that one of yours? Yes. Very pretty. Thank you. Okay, I know these two have only had like three lines, but I kind of ship the hell out of them. Yeah. I totally want a movie where they grow up into Welcome to the Dollhouse meets the Addams Family. Huh? Who's your favorite big sister? Well, that's going out. Yeah. Lori splits from her group. Yeah. Isn't having any luck. Hey, Rogue. Make some boys to mingle with. Not now, Andrew. Josh. Whatever. Okay, am I the only one at first who thought that was a sitcom audience going, ooh? <laughs> Corey Matthews really did turn into a werewolf in the worst episode of Boy Meets World. Back with the trick-or-treaters, it looks like something might be knocking the kids off. <laughs> cover to the matches school bus's most controversial work <laughs> it looks like the kids are rising from the dead but it turns out it's just one hell of an amazing choreographed prank on Rhonda. <laughs> as the leader of this kid gang i i don't know what the hell am i doing yeah <laughs> but of course they're attacked by real spooks as the drowned kids rise and try to eat them up Hyperfan girl on Devil Lore. She makes her way to the party, slowly becoming aware she's being followed by the killer from earlier. <laughs> what big eyes you have. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Most creeps say what big oh. boobs I have. So and I know you're trying to okay. kill me, but what are you doing later? <laughs> As you may have put together, though, the tables are quite turned. As Lori is a werewolf and was luring a boy for them all to feed on. I'm nervous. I mean, the Red Riding costume oh. was still on the Oh, the werewolf. <laughs> Killer was Dylan Baker's character. What are you doing? <laughs> Jokes on you. I literally prayed this is how I would go. I have so many specific internet friends to tell about this. Uh. Oh, we give can... major credit. They actually built these werewolves as opposed to whatever the hell we've gotten for years. <laughs> yeah. And we got to earlier where yeah, we see no, a no, no CGI. Like Love scaring kids off and stealing their candy. Oh, oh, Zombie Island. I have to admit, I give this film a higher rating, not just for having a Scooby-Doo cartoon on TV, but for having it be their best Scooby-Doo yeah. cartoon. That's attention to detail there. <laughs> Something tries to get in his house, though, and he thinks he's ready for whatever it is. Mascot named Sam, which I know is short for something else, but I'm sorry, it's really weird just calling this monster Sam. <laughs> Continues to make his night a living hell. I love the idea of a killer trick or treater. I mean, I don't know. I feel like that must have been done in a horror film before, but this one seems to really go all the way with the idea. He doesn't just kill people in costume, he kills them in a way that ties into the playful yet demented ways of Halloween. <laughs> like I've said before, I really like when we get a new slash yeah, killer yeah. that stands the test of time, and this character is unique enough in both design and idea to leave a long impact. Oh, that's horrifyingly delicious! <laughs> horrifyingly delicious. <laughs> Succession. Oh, how the mummy? At first I didn't like the idea of seeing this thing without its mask on, but by God, if a haunted trick-or-treater who has the ultimate love of Halloween has to have a face, that is the face. <laughs> Having him bleed pumpkin seeds is also a great touch, though it does make me watch the pumpkin and could smile a different way, though. Mm. Sam just takes his candy bar back because, I don't know, he didn't blow out a jack-o'-lantern like a true maniac, I guess. And it's revealed he was the bus driver who killed those kids years ago. But again, he didn't blow out a jack-o'-lantern, so he's totally worth another shot. <laughs> he ends oh. up giving kids candy now instead of scaring them off, but in one last surprise, the kids...
as he drove off the cliff for a turn. Trick or treat. Oh. They come back for revenge. Yeah, okay, play it. What a twist! <laughs> and that was Trick or Treat, I but have to admit. That's how the wait. That's how the movie. Wait, is that how the movie okay, ends? I can't say it's great writing or super complex characters. Honestly, I do wish a lot of the stories had stronger twists or more interactions outside these characters just crossing paths every once in a while. Well, I guess a few of those do have a good payoff. But the visuals, the atmosphere, the practical effects, and the performances do make it very memorable. It's so refreshing to see a film not covered in CGI and see actual puppets and costumes made from scratch. The actors don't really have a ton to work off of in yeah. terms of the written page, and but that's they the movie end. good for performers, it allows them to bring a lot of their own unique charm to the roles. Being an anthology movie also works to its advantage because you can jump from one Halloween scenario to another, allowing this movie to fill up on ghoulish tropes the same way your trick-or-treat bag fills up with candy. It's also cool that this movie was just kind of quietly discovered. I guess it never got a wide, big screen release, which really release, which really is a shame. But when they released on DVD, word did spread, and everyone sort of said, hey, have you seen this movie? It's got some cool scenes in it. It's just dripping with Halloween. Kind of mm -hmm. like how a lot of classic Halloween horror films of the past have been discovered. While I can't call it great cinema, I can call it a memorable celebration of the many things most of us enjoy about this kick-ass holiday. I'm a nostalgia critic, guy, remember? So you don't have to.